The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. All right, happy Thursday. Nice to see a little more sunshine out there, at least in parts of the area. It's really all about location. We'll show you that here in just a minute, but at least poor mountain. You've got the high level cirrus clouds, the sunshine overhead, and you see the trees moving around in the wind. It is a little breezy out there behind this front, but you can see east of it. That's where the air rises. Some more clouds lingering in Lynchburg and in south side, where it's, it's a mix of those high level clouds and sun in Withville, Radford, Hillsville, Roanoke, and the Allegheny Highlands. Now, eventually, those clouds slowly move out of the area and then everybody's on the same playing field. So yeah, this afternoon high temperatures 55 to 60 overnight. Most of us about 38 to 44 degrees. So you might not have needed the jacket earlier this morning. Tomorrow morning more than likely you will and windy at times too. It's already pretty windy tomorrow. I think we take things up a notch as far as wind gusts are concerned. So late morning off and on into the afternoon, your wind gusts 30 to 45 miles per hour. That's not enough for widespread power outages or anything like that, but you may have a few twigs to clean up in the yard heading into uh, Saturday. Good Friday, though, looking at highs in the low to mid 60s in the New River Valley in the Highlands, Roanoke, Rocky Mount, Danville, Alta Vista, mid to upper 60s. And then Saturday, Saturday says I can do you one better. Roanoke 74, Lynchburg 74, Hillsville 67, Lexington 71. There's going to be a front just to our north and where exactly that camps out will determine whether or not we see a few isolated showers. And if that does happen Saturday, be after 4 or 5 p.m. And you see just how hit or miss those would be heading into Saturday evening, even Saturday night. Now by sunrise services on Easter Sunday, I think most of us are dry, but we may still see the chance of Again, for a few hit or miss showers later in the day. Those sunrise services, they'll be mild 50s by the middle of the day. Easter egg hunts, they'll be in the 60s. And then by the afternoon, we're once again in the 70s on Easter Sunday. So keep it with us over the course of the next few days. We'll be getting more refined, more detailed forecast data. We'll share that with you on our free weather app. Now beyond the holiday weekend, we've got a frontal system coming in out of the west. You see the difference between temperatures, right? The cold to the west, the warmth to the east. That's where storms like to thrive off of. In fact, if you look at the severe weather outlook for next Monday, next Tuesday, that goes from Texas to Tennessee, Kentucky and parts of West Virginia. We're not currently in that outlook, but it does look as though we see some April showers coming in on a more scattered scale than what we see this weekend. So for the extended forecast today, 55 to 60 tomorrow, mostly 65 to 70 degrees and the weekend shaping up pretty warm highs in the 70s. I wouldn't go canceling plans. Yeah, you got a few hit or miss showers possible late Saturday and again late Easter Sunday, but there's plenty of dry time. That may not be the case early next week. Still pretty warm. A brief cold snap coming our way heading into the middle of next week. So next Wednesday highs in the 50s to near 60.